The Chicago Furniture Bank is an organization that's helping families and individuals create homes when buying furniture is not a realistic option. But we've got James McPhail, one of the co-founders of the organization, and Cora Clay, who just got her home furnished this past weekend. Hello and good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Um, Griffin, let's start with you. Uh, I'm sorry, actually, uh, James, let's start with you. Um, how did the organization begin? And then can you tell us about what communities you all end up serving? Absolutely. So me, uh, my partner Griffin, he's from Chicago originally, and he was uh, at his grandfather's house talking about old China. That's Griffin who was supposed to be here. And he <laughs> slept in. You tell him we yeah. missed him. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he was talking about old China and how there's so much that, you know, gets thrown away now. And we started looking into the market for used furniture, realized a very similar situation that a lot of this stuff is just ending up in the landfills. Wow. Um, and we know there's so many people out there that could really benefit from having a fully furnished home. And so we're just uh, an intermediary organiz intermediary organization connecting the two. I love it because I've been in a place where I'm moving and I don't always have a place for this furniture to go and you feel bad putting it in the, in, in yeah. the trash. And so you guys kind of just served as that connector. Exactly. I we, love it. We collect it all, we display it nicely in our warehouse and we allow families to come and actually hand pick all the furniture they want. So what communities do you all serve in this area? Yeah, so we work with over 150 different nonprofit partner organizations that mainly provide supportive housing. Um, for low-income families, and basically a lot of the families we serve are from the south and west sides of Chicago. Okay, well, we got Cora here. Cora, you actually got some furniture this past weekend. Yes. How'd you find out? How'd you get connected? Actually, I found out and I got connected through this organization called Feather Fist. They help um, low-income families where uh, to get furniture, and also they help them throughout the year, helping with assisting with their rent and things like that. So, yeah. so what did it feel like being able to go and pick out your furniture and have it in your house this weekend? It actually felt pretty good. So I always wanted to be my child and make my kids feel as comfortable as possible. So I actually realized their reactions from having furniture to not having it. So it actually feels pretty good having the furniture. Yeah, you're a mom of three kids, and I know it's so important to make sure that you're providing a safe, comfortable home for them. Yeah. Um, what was it like? There's the kids and Krista. <laughs> oh, my God. Tell us who we're looking at. So, Amira, she's in the black. Her name is Amira Johnson. She's seven. And my little daughter, she's four. Her name is Dominique. And then my son, that's Jakari. He's oh five. Oh, my gosh. And then <laughs> that's so my cute. daughter, Krista. <laughs> <laughs> that's my daughter, Krista. Yep. So you clearly have your hands full. Yes. Well, how were they? I, how did they react to all the furniture in the home? So actually, when I got the furniture delivered, they were actually at school. So I picked them up from my mom's, and when we got home, they were all running inside, like, oh, my God, yeah, we have furniture. So they were very excited. Oh my God, yeah. probably crawling all over your stuff, yeah. climbing all on top of all the furniture there. Um, and uh, James, tell us who benefits from the furniture bank? What kind of, what kind of people are, are the best candidates? Yeah, so like I said, we work with 150 different partners and they serve a variety of, of, of people. Uh, mostly it's the formerly homeless, victims of domestic violence, people who've had physical or mental disabilities, all just uh, people that really, um, you know, we want to help them get back on their feet. Yeah, people that just need a little extra support, a little extra love. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone needs that actually <laughs> um, and then what should I do if I'm one of these folks at home watching and I have furniture in my home and I want to get linked up with you what should I do yeah absolutely you can just go on our website chicagofurniturebank.org go to our donate page and fill out a pickup request and we'll send a truck over and hopefully be able to get it from you guys Oh, um, perfect perfect okay and Cor what do you want people to know just about your experience with this um, it's actually a good organization and it actually helped me through a whole lot because like as you guys can see I do have my hands full so <laughs> it helps a lot because not everybody has that push to be able to get them new furniture and get everything so it actually helps in a big way. Absolutely love it. Thank you for sharing your story. We appreciate it. And good luck to you. You Thank do you. have your hands full. <laughs> <laughs> Log on to ChicagoFurnitureBank.org to apply for volunteer or donate. You can do those three things.